This is the place? Dolokhov. This road doesn't go anywhere. Just because it isn't here, doesn't mean it isn't out there. But these are German field plans. If the Wehrmacht had positions in this forest, they would be marked there. No. Trust me, Arkady. Marked or not, somewhere down there is a German camp. So... Next time someone comes down here... We buried him. Deep. Yeah. We wait for the signal. It's fine. Five kilometers from base. Nothing to report. Dog units receiving. Perimeter secure. Nothing to report.
lying Russian dog. So, you had friends after all. <laughs> Look out! Mother Russia's love. You know that, oh second. Ha! That bitch. She would know the meaning of the word. <laughs> Listen to you all. Like poets. Too bad Stalin made you soldiers. I'll treat you. Please. You know how many gold rings I have already? It's not just the ring I'm offering you. There's a wife to go with it. Mm. Oh, me! I thought it was ammo. Weapons, maybe, but... These men were not pallbearers. I don't know. But if all this came from a place that doesn't even exist on the map... These are cards the Nazis wanted to keep very close. They have an escort.
important. This. This must all reach our high command. Yeah? You know what to look for. Remember that. Or sack him! Then go. Go. This is one of the infamous Red Guard. Your existence is almost mythic. But your skill is undeniable. All these special operations. Your unit has been making quite the nuisance of itself. Assassinating our officers with virtual impunity. If you're afraid of wolves, don't go into the woods. I'm sorry. Do you mind if I smoke? Your comrades. They split up. They're going somewhere. To rape your wives. And cut your children's throats. Hmm. There are two ways. That you will tell me what it is you know. Either way, you will tell me. Always the hard way. You heard the man! Ah! Cry havoc! Let loose the dogs!
This one, we keep for Strasser. How deep. One thing. No place which stinks so badly of death. There is no sign of vermin, no droppings, no sand. Nothing. Yeah. And you know you're in trouble when the rats have abandoned the ship. And then there's this guy. A Yankee. Oh, hey, easy man, easy. I'm a friend. Rogers. Call me Captain. Nobody else does. You know how to get out of here, Captain? <laughs> yeah, sure. I can get through that door anytime I want. I was worrying about the door. So what is it? All this. This, son. <laughs> this is a goddamn Lazarus project. They got plans here. To make dead men stand and raise their right hand to Hitler, too. Whole place is purpose built. One giant machine. Which is why it has a cooling system. Air ducts, service shafts, all interconnected. And you can navigate them? I got in here, didn't I? You a spy? Fucking A. OSS. Kali, what about this? I swear, boys, I ain't seen crap this bad since I crawled through a sewer in Paris. Uh, might we give you a jaw rest? And put your back into this? Sure thing. Though you really want to lift from the knees, that's the trick. Uh, uh. Zen, Zella 
Subject 9 prepared for release. Let the games begin. We're in trouble now. What the hell is that? I told you, they got plants. They're testing this chemical, see? This serum. And this here, it's a killing jar. We're only the Colosseum. And right now, we're the Christians. Here come the fucking lions! Teamwork, gentlemen. High five! If you're going to use my medicine, break! Try showing yours how to fight! Keep saying it. This process, all the components must be right. That man, the cake decorator from Bavaria. Send in the child killer. I think you just pissed him off. Yeah, it's like work, Ace. Uh, no, whatever happens, Gilda. You stay down. Welcome to the war. Okay. The scrolling system is to the surface, right? Yeah, eventually. And you're no more use to us.
forgets the subject. Let's see what this Russian is truly capable of. Stalin's dogs live up to their reputation yet again. Must say, I expected better from my American guest. Indeed, after all. Look more aliens in the rest of us. All together. Apologies for your friend. But steel, sharp and steel. And in the end, I'm afraid his peasant stock didn't meet our requirements. The man is talking. Look at him. Calm, controlled, and yet ferocious. The wolf, indeed. Ha! This, you see this? This is the kind of aggression we need to harness! Some men are too weak for war, others simply uncontrollable. But so few. They are made for it. What we couldn't do to the thousand men like you. Men who stare down bullets. Who know that war is not survived. Only endured. Is that the best we can do? Is embraced us. Now you get to die for something worthwhile. The glory of the Reich. That's a very dark look. What are you thinking? That you should also end up. No, I think not. I've seen your Russian mercy and your demand for total surrender. No. You must stand and fight. You must make monsters. You know your countrymen tried to make the perfect soldier themselves once. To splice human and ape genes. And create a stronger individual. Unfortunately for you, Stalin is as scared of science as he is of religion. He didn't appreciate that. One must confront one's fears in order to conquer them. In that, to harness nature, we must first break it, then tear it. 
take the pieces and rebuild them in our own design. And this, as with all things, where Russia fails, we shall triumph. Some would call it a blasphemous kind of alchemy. All I can say is, is that it's messy work, with lots of mistakes. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> so samples you stole the other day, they were of little consequence. The whole convoy, in fact, was more a housekeeping measure. If they are to continue our finance, all in must see regular progress. The serum is purely medicinal. It conditions, prepares the body, stimulates certain nerve centers. But the chamber... That is a work of Promethean fire! Multiple trials, many different combinations and calibrations. I'm afraid we're still burning out too many neural pathways, which is depressing. Because, as we all know, a good soldier must always obey his orders. Core temperature at 25% power. few other kings we need to iron out as well. But luckily, we have fresh meat for the grinder. God! You want monsters? I'll show you fucking monsters. I admire your courage. But you're too valuable to us. After all, we need to see if our serum mixes with your pig's blood. <coughs> the delinquents. Penal conscripts. I understand that. But you, I wonder, what brings a man like you here? Your superiors. They saw something in you. A soldier. A man who loves to fight. To win. The most dangerous kind. But this war... It doesn't need knights. It needs revolutionaries. 
because I make no mistake. This. This. Is a revolution. A machine. That could make men immortal. And move armies. A blink of an eye. Just think of the lives that we were saved. Is there any price too high for that? That our generation might be the last to die on the battlefield? So all the rest can live under your tyranny. Ah, <laughs> uh, the cynic, of course. After all, what would a man like you do with eternal peace? <laughs> and yet, I've seen how you care for your men, how you love them, as you would your sons, how you would do anything to reverse their fates and spare their lives. Not anything. Can't you see? With this technology, mankind could rival God himself. Man is better than us an animal. <laughs> what? I see it. I don't know what cursed thing your mother fucked under a full moon, <clears throat> but... Uh, <laughs> she was as all an apology. <laughs> A better man would have flayed you for less. And he would have died trying. Damn you. God brings the other one. Maybe you haven't noticed. But dying isn't what it used to be. Hmm? Not him, 
get under observation and him under lock and key. Fura! Go, go. Marsh. One of the Soviets survived the chamber. The giant slayer? No, the other one. You should see him. Is that bullet wound? He's practically healed. They must be close then. Let's hope not. Because you know who's first in line the minute they succeed.
This is Thor's hammer calling Conniv command. Come in, over. Thor's hammer calling Conniv command. Come in, over. Fuck. Conniv command. Come in, over. Is it that the Russian guard stays alive, huh? 
by killing their enemies. And how does a Russian god kill his enemies? Without mercy. Yes. Bullet to bullet. Bullet to bullet, like soldiers, huh? Yes. Good. So let's go slaughter some fucking Nazis. I once them both crushed. And put somebody kindly. Shut up that fucking noise! Let's tuck these bastards in for the night.
Please! You are not well! I know. And the gun is heavy. Here. Let me rest it. <clears throat> There was another way out. There must be air ducts or ventilation shafts. All we have to do is find them. Level six. Understand, Doctor. These men are saboteurs. If they cannot escape, they will destroy the whole place. So, please, I'm asking you. Open the fucking cells.
kill whatever comes out. Your kind will not win this war. No one will win this war. And men like you can play God all you like. But it will always be a peasant who takes your grave.
You mind if I take the seat? Not if you take it somewhere else. Drink alone or drink for free. Nothing is free. And you're never alone when you're surrounded by the ghosts of your comrades. I'll take your word for it. But the way we hear it, you had a pretty good war. <laughs> good wars exist only as lies, my friend. Still fighting, aren't you? Even now. Bitter to the last. The Russian way. Maybe so. Then again, if it's true what they say. That old soldiers never die. Ah, I heard such a rumor once before. <laughs> really? That sounds like a story I would very much like to hear. Uh, I am not drunk enough for stories. Please. Allow me to remedy that. 